Explore.io is revamped again, and now the layout is one big world map. Today, I'm going to go around and explore all the new places. The first direction I went was down, through the desert, to the giant ant hole known as Ant Hell. Inside the ant hole was a new sort of ant biome, with ant eggs, and several different types of fire ants that weren't included in the game before. I had heard that an ultra fire ant could spawn at the bottom of this column, so I decided to go check it out. Wow, there are a lot of people here. I had decided I wanted to see this ultra queen ant, so I waited around in this area for at least 40 minutes. I totally wasn't AFK when the ultra ant spawned, but watching this back, I have no idea how I survived. After not having much success in ant hell, I decided to try out a normal anthill, and discovered that the layout had completely changed. These things are huge mazes, and take forever to clear out. Luckily, this has changed, and they are no longer this hard. After traveling through a few more not very exciting biomes, I arrived at the one that is dedicated to beetles. What on earth made the developer think making a beetle faster than the player was a good idea? After respawning, I went to explore some of the ocean maps, and none of these were really very exciting, until I got to the Crab Kingdom. The Crab Kingdom thought it would be a good idea to spawn an Ultra Crab. You can probably guess how that went. I had already explored the desert and the ocean, so the next place I went to explore was the garden. But upon arriving, I was met with this. Everyone was fighting over the digger, trying to heal it and kill it, and everything was just chaotic. But then, things got even more crazy, because just a few minutes later, people found a mythic digger wandering around as well. I followed the mythic digger around for a while, but then I realized, while everyone's distracted with the mythic one, why don't I go off and try and kill the legendary one? And since everyone was away, it wasn't actually that difficult to kill it. Shortly after, I found the mythic digger again, and this hornet sort of just rammed into it. It's really weird, it didn't shoot any missiles or anything. I don't know. The next place I went to explore was called the Centralia Maze. This is a mythic only spot where you can't actually see the map of the place you're exploring. This is a pretty good spot to farm legendary petals, and in the clip you're watching now, I actually got two mythic petals only a minute apart from each other, which I thought was pretty cool. The last place I went to explore was another new biome called the Sewers. There is nothing really exciting here, as the only things that spawn are spiders and flies. Flies are a new mob introduced into the game though, which I guess is pretty cool. This place could be pretty good if you just wanted to f an easy way to farm some legendary petals, but other than that, there's not too much to explore. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.